Tape script 19. Conversation 1. Don't you use the recycling bank, Theo? You know, for glass, plastics, paper and stuff. What's the point? Unless everyone in the local area does. Because it's up to everyone to do their bit. But it's so hit and miss. I mean, each local government has its own policy on recycling and the environment in general. But they're all dancing to a different tune. In some cases, they're actually creating more problems. So you're waiting for some kind of global group to be formed before you bother to become involved? That's an easy way out. No, not at all. My view is that the government should introduce policies which force all local authorities to do the same things, from litter fines through to fining people for not recycling. Well, I think that's just passing the buck. The world belongs to each of us, after all. Conversation 2 Have you seen Jean's hair? It's hideous. <laughs> I know. I told her she'd made a big mistake. You didn't. That was really mean of you. Knowing you'd upset her. I said I thought she looked nice. She positively glowed. That is so cowardly. I disagree. It's only a white lie. And she won't know. She will when I tell her. Liars never get away with it. I don't think you do that. And anyway, what about telling your children that fairies exist and Santa Claus will bring them presents? Well, I don't do that either. I'm not exactly saying that kids are hurt by untruths, but I don't feel it's good for them either. It makes them suspicious of adults. <laughs> oh dear, I think you're taking all this a bit too seriously. Conversation 3 Honestly, this timing device on the recorder is driving me nuts. I've been trying to reset it for the last half hour and it still isn't right. Look, you just need to press the auto after you've tapped in the time. It's simple. Oh, thanks. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I could turn the clock back a couple of hundred years and have a more relaxed kind of life. <laughs> Relaxed? You must be joking. Travelling on horseback through the night to get a message to a friend living in the next town? I don't think so. Well, I'm not so sure. I just get so wound up by it all. The computer crashing, the washing machine flooding, and the incessant noise of other people's mobiles. <laughs> oh, come on, accept it. There's no going back. People have always strived to invent and discover. That's the human condition. That's just the way life is. Hmm, more's the pity.